open wide now. Please, to you. I'm not so frail that I cannot feed myself. <sighs> I grow weary of the taste of gruel. You don't like it? Can I fetch you something else? Hi, wine! Or if that is not wholesome enough, I don't know. A sweet persimmon from Namai? I enjoyed them in my youth. A persimmon? Nay, <laughs> pay me no mind. I am full. Besides, we have guests. We are not interrupting your meal. We had heard you were confined to bed and thought you might welcome some visitors. Confined to... A gross exaggeration. A trifle drained from my exertions, perhaps. But with a little rest, I shall be fighting fit again in no time. Take off your clothes. Gosetsu, is this how you've been spending your time? My lady, I assure you, this is not. Off with them. We need to wash you. You stink. Life of battle will leave its mark upon a man. Is something wrong to you? It's nothing. I'm fine. But leave me be, woman! I will not be fussed over like some newborn babe.
Greetings. Might I have one of your... Wait! Please! I only wanted a persimmon! Kami, save us! Her spirit has returned! She's back from the dead to seek her revenge! It can't be. She couldn't have survived. What did I... What did I do? As if you don't know! Good people of Namai, be at ease, I pray you. You have naught to fear. My lord, forgive me, but what is that monster doing here? They told us she was dead! I too was surprised to learn of her survival. More even than you, I would hazard. Twas I who cut her down, I who left her to her fate. But it would seem the Kami had other plans. By some miracle, both she and Gosetsu were spared when the keep collapsed, though Yotsugu's preservation came at the cost of her memory. You're saying she's forgotten? Forgotten everything she's done? Lies! Lies! My lord, she would say anything to escape punishment! What does it matter? We have not forgotten her crimes! And we demand justice! I beg of you, Lord Hien, draw your blade and rid us of this canker! What I saw then, it's all true. I'm sorry! I'm so, so sorry! You're sorry? And what? We're supposed to forgive you! Here, there's no need to cry. Can't you see how scared she is? How can you be scared of her? She's not the same. Until such time as her memories return, this woman shall be known as Tsuyu and treated as a citizen of Doma. I will, however, see that she is watched at all times. Rest assured that there will be no more unannounced visits to the village. As your lord, I ask that you leave her fate in my hands and suffer her to live for now. Please, Issei. All right. I'll keep my peace. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters.
What a pleasure it is to see you once more, Lord Hien. Not to mention my dear sister. A pleasure to see you too, Ambassador. Forgive us our late arrival. You have our people aboard the airship? Exactly as agreed. We would leave you in no doubt as to the purity of our intentions. I dare say it was the self-same spirit of cooperation which prompted you to bring Yotsuyu here today. Indeed. Before excluding her from the exchange, I thought it only fair that you see her condition for yourself. Physically, she is in fine health, but her mind is unchanged. So I see. But all need not necessarily be lost. In anticipation of this tragic turn of events, I took the liberty of inviting some special guests. Ah, Yotsuyu. You look... well? <laughs> of all the people... Is something wrong, dear sister? These are our beloved parents. Does not the sight of them bring back sweet childhood memories? <laughs> it would seem my little surprise was not sufficient. You needn't glare at me so, Lord Hien. I merely did what any loving son would do for his family. Lest you doubt, I am content to leave the acting Viceroy in your care. Pray, treat her as you would any daughter of Dorma. Do not grow too fond of this place, dear sister. You will come back to us ere long. We continue with the exchange as planned, then. Very good. The structure across the river should serve our needs. We shall await you there with the conscripts. If you would bring your captives. Agreed. Until then, Ambassador.
Gosetsu, are you awake? My lord, come in, come in. When Tsuyu returned, her eyes were red from weeping. She spoke not a word, simply sat and peeled some fruit she'd brought for me. She then claimed weariness and retired to her chamber. Tell me, what happened to upset her so? The ambassador arranged a surprise reunion with her foster parents. A misguided attempt to restore Yotsuyu to her senses. It was plain their presence caused her great distress, but she seemed otherwise unaffected. Yotsuyu was mistreated as a child, was she not? It was a cruel trick to use her tormentors like that, knowing the pain it could cause. I like this Asahi less and less. Be that as it may, he has agreed to allow Yotsu to remain with us in Doma. Our primary concern now is to hand over the prisoners without incident and bring our people safely home. There was one other detail at the meeting which caught my attention. I assume you all noticed the rather suspect crates within the castrum. The Imperials were quick to retrieve them afterwards, but I wonder. Out with it, brother. You fear they might contain bombs or war machines? If the Ambassador wanted me dead, he has had ample opportunity. No, assassination is not his intent. But we should be on our guard for other acts of treachery. My lord! Forgive me, but the Lady Yotsuyu! She's gone! Gone?! I beg your pardons, my lords. I was certain she'd fallen asleep. No, no, the responsibility is mine. Twas I who gave her a room instead of a cell. She may simply have wandered outside. We will organize search parties. Might I call upon your assistance? Only I hadn't remembered. He should hate me.
but I will not suffer his kindness. Not after what I did to him. Who's there? <gasps> oh, it's you. What are you doing out here in the dark? This is the Enclave, is it? When the soldiers dragged us back to Doma, you were the last person I expected to see. You're the bane of our existence, Yotsuyu! A font of misery! You couldn't even do us the simple courtesy of dying, could you? Oh no! You had to live and taint us with the shame of your failure! We had a perfect life in the capital, and now they're making us wallow in this muddy ruin like common swine! I don't deserve this! Now, now, dear, that'll do. There seems little point in berating the girl when she scarcely remembers her own name. Our time would be better spent contemplating how we're to survive this unhappy predicament. You've kept your looks at least. I suspect you'd fetch a handsome price with the right buyer. Maybe enough to get us to Kugani and start a new business. <laughs> ah, my beloved parents. No sooner do I wake from gentle slumber than the world returns in all its cruelty. Yes, this is how it always was. How it was meant to be. Very well. If I cannot escape my nature, then I shall embrace it. To the very depths I have sunk, my soul steeped in spite and rotten to the core. The self-righteous hide behind justice, but I need no such mask. Father, mother, was it not you who made me into this monster? Who taught me the truth of this miserable world? For years I knew naught but the taste of pain and humiliation. But the time has come to savor my vengeance against Dorma. Against all my enemies. And it begins... With you! Yatsuyu! <laughs> Dear sister, did I not say you would come back to us? Brother dearest, what a surprise. You always were a cold-blooded little worm. I doubt you thought twice about sending our parents to their death. 
Your dagger yet drips with their blood, and you presume to judge me? To be frank, I didn't think you had the strength to slay them so cleanly. A single thrust each? I'm impressed. But surely you can't be satisfied with murdering a pair of doddering elders. You yearn for a deeper vengeance, and the power to see it through. Any sign of her? What happened here? I knew what would happen if she recovered. And still, I did nothing. You say she left with her brother? Whatever he wants with her, he was willing to pay for it with his parents' lives. But this is neither the time nor the place. We must gather the others. <laughs> 